Hello everyone, this is David, Fairly Secret Music. Uh, today I am just talking about a box set, but before I get into that, I decided I was going to fill in the gaps of my Candlemas collection and get all the Rob Lowe and Matt Slevin stuff because the new Candlemas, that has Jonah Lind Lindquist, uh, the same singer that was on Epicus Dumicus Metallicus, is coming out this Friday, first album since their first album that he will be singing lead vocals on. I am super excited. I have listened to one of the two songs. I don't want to listen to all of them, but I was talking to Dude1973, Chris, um, and he had never really heard Candlemas, and I sent him Blackstone Wielder, and can anybody say any vocal part or part of any Candlemas song is better than at the six-minute part of Blackstone Wilder when he goes into the Blackstone Wilder is born. Oh, oh. That's such a great part. And then the, all the stuff after it is even cooler. Um, I'm not going to sing that part either, though. Um, I mean, he even makes hmm is born. He, he hmms. Awesome. He's just so awesome. Anyway, so, new candle mass this Friday. Super stoked. I've never used the term soaked ever. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about this band. Holy Terror. Holy shit. I got this. Let's, my history of Holy Terror is this. I either had Terror and Submission or Mind Wars. Both of those album covers look exactly the same. Well, here's Terror and Submission. Here's Mind Wars. And it basically has kind of a snaky thing on a cross, but it's tearing the cross apart. Um, I don't remember this singer being so damn good. Um, I cannot remember the singer's name. But uh, he passed away in 2004. No, 2012, sorry. Uh, so they, they had two studio albums and a live album. Uh, the first one was called Terror and Submission. And you could kind of lump them in with the bands like um, Dark Angel uh, and maybe Viking a little bit. Uh, but they were so much more melodic than I ever thought they were. And this, let me go t tell you what's on this. So, I know you can't see this, but there are first, second album, third album, which is like a remix compilation, and then their live album. So you get Terror and Submission, Mind Wars on disc two. Disc three is El Revenjo, which has, um, let's see, one, two... Three, four, I think four or five songs from the Mind Wars album remixed. And I believe they were remixed in 2005. And then the whole Terror and Submission album remixed, um, but in a different order. Um, and that was remixed in two, uh, 1998, which would have been 11 years after it came out. And then disc four is uh, Live Terror, live in Denmark and Belgium, and then live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and live in Italy. And then the fifth disc is a DVD. Um, I looked everywhere. I finally found one photo on Blabbermouth that made me say, yes, I'm going to get this version because... There's also a two-disc version of their first two albums that Candlelight put out. And I know that has like a 12-page booklet with lyrics. Uh, lyrics are big with me. I like to be able to look through them. Uh, this is what you get. You get this booklet, but instead of uh, different pages, it actually folds out. And so you have the album cover and then the back information. And then you get this equivalent of one, two, three pages of a CD booklet 
of liner notes, a lot of photos, and then if you flip it all over, you get all the lyrics. I'm not 100% sure if this is still in print. I believe it came out in 2000, um, 2017. I know if you go to the um, Dissonance Productions website, I believe they still have it. Um, the singer in this band is way more melodic than I remembered. If you listen to a song like Black Plague, you will get a whole different um, kind of feel. It's more in the Leave Scars era Dark Angel kind of sound. And then if you listen to a song like Distant Calling, that is super melodic. And you that, that's where you really get to hear how good of a singer he was. Um, let me find out what his name was. Keith Dean. So, uh, yeah, he's no longer with us, but wow, what an overlooked singer, especially in this genre. Um, if you are curious on finding out what the albums sound like, you can look up Terror and Submission on YouTube or Mind Wars on YouTube. But if you type in El Revenjo, it's E-L space revenge with an O on the end instead of an E. Listen to those versions of the first album because the drums are a lot clearer. They're not as muddy as on the original mix. Uh, the vocals are really present, uh, but not overpowering. It's just fantastic. And this, this, I can't believe I've been without this. I've only listened to the first album twice, and that has been enough for me to want to make this video. Um, I don't like when I can't find information out, uh, out there on, uh, a box set like this. So it comes in this kind of like a old school double box set, but you get, <clears throat> this is the second album. This is the third album. And then this raises up and you have the second, wait, wait, this is Mind Wars. This is... Uh, terror and Submission. Yeah, Terror and Submission. Uh, you get a cool photo of the band. And then you have the third disc. And then it opens up in the back here. And you get the live album. And then the DVD, which also has information on uh, or bigger pictures of the album covers so yes this was at cheapo records in minneapolis it was um uh thirty dollars and 99 cents uh well worth the money i am super happy i paid that money and uh I was, I'm not disappointed and I haven't even gotten through a fourth of it yet or just a fourth of it. Actually. Um, I listened to, there's a song called, uh, distant calling. That is a great song. Oh my God. So melodic. I shared it with dude, 1973. And, uh, he was like, Holy shit, this is melodic. And I sent him the El Revenjo version because, you know, if you're going to let somebody hear something, uh, let them listen to the best possible version of it. So hopefully this uh, spurs people to check Holy Terror out. Um, totally overlooked band. Uh, if you like Dark Angel and um, what do you call it? Uh, Viking. I definitely am going to look into buying those Don Dottie Dark Angel albums because this has made me curious as to uh, what everybody's talking about. I remember not liking his voice. I love Ron Reinhardt, but um, every once in a while, I will open my mind and, and just take all my preconceived notions out of the picture and 
give bands another shot. And it's it's happening with the Rob Lowe era candle mass. And it happened with these guys. And who knows, it might happen with uh, Dark Angel. So let me know in the comments what you think about this album. If this has spurred your interests. And if you buy it, let me know what you think about it. All right, take it easy.